Hello Grade 2s and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud. Welcome to your Grade 2 Maths lesson for today and I hope you've had a lovely day so far and that you're ready to learn something new with me again today. Now if there are any things that you don't understand during the lesson, if you have any questions about what we are going to learn about today, you can just ask Mommy or Daddy to help you send an email to grade2 at worksheetcloud.com and we will try and answer your questions as quickly as possible. Now if this is the first time that you are watching a lesson with us, or if you've never seen me in a lesson before, my name is Teacher Taryn. And today we are going to learn something very exciting together. We are going to learn about groups of three. So what are you going to need for this lesson? Now, you are going to need something small that you can count or you can move around and you need at least 20 of this item. So something that you can move around in front of you like pegs or pencils or crayons or even blocks if you have blocks at home, but you need 20 of the same thing. Okay, now that you've got everything that you need for the lesson, we're going to wake our brains up a little bit by counting together. Now we're going to count in threes and counting in threes is sometimes a little bit more difficult because it takes a very long time for the pattern to repeat. So we're going to start at three and then we're going to add another three. So three and if we hop three numbers on the hundred block, we get to the number six. Now if we add another three, we get to the number nine. Now we've got to cross over the ten, so one, two, three, and we get to the number twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, and thirty. Now well done, that's where our pattern is going to end, and then it repeats again from thirty to thirty-three. 36 and you'll see your numbers end on the same numbers as the first group of the pattern But this is very important for us to know because if we are going to want to make groups of three We are going to have to know how to count in threes and these numbers when we count in threes are called multiples So let's try that again We're going to start at three again three six nine twelve 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. Well done. Now, we are going to have a look at our friend. And if you've watched our lesson about groups of two that we've already done together, then this is groups of three. And there's a little boy sitting outside. And his teacher has said that he needs to practice making groups of three with some clothing pegs. So here are his three clothing pegs and he's going to use his pegs to help him to count and to move them around to make groups of three with more than just three. So his name is Timmy and Timmy is sitting in the garden and he has three pegs in front of him. But his teacher said he needed to make more than just one group of three. So he's got quite a lot of pegs like you do. He's got about 20 in front of him and while he is making his groups, you are going to make your groups with your pegs or your blocks or your crayons in front of you. Okay, so here he's got quite a few pegs. Let's count how many pegs he has in front of him. And you're going to put just as many in front of you. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He has nine pegs in front of him. So you're going to put nine pegs in front of you and can you see I've put three pegs together and then another three pegs together and then another three pegs together. So you can do that in front of you. Move your pegs or your counters or your crayons or blocks or whatever that you are counting into groups of three. We have nine in total but we have put them into threes. Okay, so now that we've put our nine items together, we are now going to make a group of three. We put three of them together and then we leave a little space 
and we put another three of them together and we leave a little space and then another three together. So now you can see we've got three circles. So you've got three little piles of three items in each. We have three groups of something. So I have three groups of pegs. You might have three groups of pencils. And in each group, there are three items. So we can say we have three in the first group plus another three in the next group, and another three in the third group. And we know that three plus three plus three is nine. We've made three groups with three inside each group. Okay, let's try another one. We're now going to pack out these pegs in front of us. And they are one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six items. I have six pegs and you might have six crayons or six blocks or whatever you are counting. I've put them into a group of three over there and another group of three next door. So how many groups do I have now? I have two groups, but I have six pegs. Now in this group, I have three pegs, and in this group, I have another three pegs. And I hope in front of you, you've moved your counting objects into a group of three and into another group of three. I have two groups, and inside each group, there are three items. So I can say that I have three plus three. I have two threes, and that is six. Okay, but now here comes the clever trick. Just when we did groups of two, we are going to do the same with groups of three. When I have groups, I can use a different operation. Now, an operation is a plus or a minus or a times or a divide, and we've been using pluses now that we've been adding things together. But if I have six pegs, and earlier I said I had three plus three, because I made a group of three and another group of three, I have two groups. I have one group, and there are three inside the first group, and I have another group, my second group, and there are three more items in the second group. So I have two groups of three. Now, if I have two groups of, groups of is a clue that we can use our brand new operation. And that is our times sign or our multiplication sign. I can say that I have two groups of three. And that is the same as saying two times three. And that is six. So I have two times three in each circle, and that is six. Okay, so here Timmy is sitting in his garden, and his teacher told him that he needed to look for some things that might appear in groups of three. So he needs to practice his groups of three, and he decided he's going to look for something in nature or in his garden, and to see if things might appear in groups of three. So while he was sitting in his garden, he saw that there were three snails that came crawling or sliding past him. And he watched these three snails and he thought, this is one group of three. There are three snails all together. And he decided that later on, he would go and have a look and see if there were any more. And later on, another three snails slid past him. And this was the second group of three. So earlier in the day, there were three snails, one group of three. And later on, another three slid past, and that's our second group of three. So Timmy decided he saw one group of three snails and another group of three snails. In total, we know that this is six. He saw six snails for the day. 
But before we can add them all together, we are going to make groups of three. Earlier in the day, he saw one group of three, and later on, he saw another group of three. We have two groups of three. We can say three plus three, and that is six. But we can also say that there is one, two, so two groups of three. And two groups of three, we learned that is two times three, and that is six. So instead of saying three plus three, we can say two times three. Okay, so later on in the day, Timmy was sitting in his garden, and he saw that a few birds had gone and laid some eggs in their nests. And each nest had three eggs inside it. So there are three nests and three, three, and three. So he decided to do another sum. Here are our three nests. There is one group of three. In one nest, there are three eggs. There is another group of three, another three eggs in the second nest. And in the third nest, there is another group of three. So we can say three plus three plus three, and we know that is nine. But instead of saying three plus three plus three, we can say that there are three groups. One, two, three. Three groups of three. And groups of, we know, is time. So we can say three times three, and that is nine. How do we get to that? We can count in threes. And that's why that was so important right in the beginning, so that we know if we count in threes, what are the multiples of three? So we can say three, six, nine. And that is three times three is nine. Okay, so Timmy is in his garden and he has an apple tree in his garden. And this apple tree has a lot of fruit. And sometimes the apples fall off or fall down from the tree. And his family puts them in baskets. Sometimes there are lots of apples and they can sell these baskets to their neighbors. So Timmy is going to put three apples in a basket because that's how many can fit. Three apples in one basket. But this weekend, there were so many apples that fell off this tree that they could fill not only one basket, but they could fill two, three, four, five baskets. So they filled five baskets with three apples inside each basket. So let's do a sum. We are going to see this as a story sum. We're going to write it out in words because most of the time this is how you are going to find or see it. Timmy packed five baskets of apples this weekend. There are three apples in each basket. How many apples did he pack? Now this sounds like a long sum with a lot of confusing words. So let's see if we can find the important parts of this sum. Timmy packed five baskets of apples. Here are our five baskets. So sometimes you might want to draw a picture. I've drawn it already. There are five baskets and the next important part is that there are three apples in each basket. Now I want to say three plus three plus three plus three plus three but we know that earlier on we could count in threes. We could say three, six, 9, 12, 15. So I already know my answer is 15, but I always have to show my working out. I have to do a sum. So I know that I can say 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, and that is 15. But that is going to take a very long time if we had more baskets. So I can say that there are 1, 2, three, four, five. There are five groups of three. There are three inside each group. So I can write it as five groups of three 
And we know that groups of is times. So we can say 5 times 3, and that is 15. And this is a much shorter sum than all the 3s that we are going to add together. Now, grade 3s, if you know how to make groups of 3, if you know how to make one group of 3, two groups of 3, you can make three groups of 3. And you can know that that is 3 times 3. And count in 3s, 3 times, and you will get to 9. You can also say 4 groups of 3. And if you know that there are 4 groups, you can say it is 4 times 3. Count in 3s, 4 times, and you'll get to 12. You will also know that there are 5 groups of 3. That is 5 times 3. Count in 3s, 5 times, and you'll get to 15. Now, if you know how to do these smaller groups of 3s, you can say 7 groups of 3, 8 groups of 3, 9 groups of 3, 10 groups of 3. And the more you practice it, the more you are going to practice your 3 times table. Now, grade 2s, I hope you've enjoyed learning all about the 3 times table and counting in 3s, and that you're going to practice counting in 3s, because it's very important the more you practice, the more you're going to know your three times table off by heart. Until the next time we can learn something together, grade twos, I hope you have a lovely afternoon. Goodbye. And this lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Club.